You know, Antoinette, I think we can all agree we had really low expectations of what Monday was going to look like, and they weren't quite as bad as we thought. But again, you'll hear coming up later that really the next big test is a couple weeks away. But as you mentioned, this all started one week ago today. At 9 p.m. on last Friday, the unprecedented happened. Gates went up at the Orange Line station. Subway service stopped. Shuttle buses started rolling all across the Boston area. Now, gridlock that was predicted around the region, but so far hasn't been as bad as we thought. On Monday came what was expected to be the first big test of the shutdown, the Monday morning commute. Riders adapting to shuttle buses and commuter trains. For many who can't work from home or must ride the Orange Line shuttles, there was a bit of a learning curve and a longer ride, but again, no major issues. Then on Wednesday, the T provided an update on the work crews are making on the Orange Line tracks and tunnels. So far, the T says work is progressing as planned, and overall, the T says it appears fewer people are traveling. But the next big test is less than two weeks away when Boston students and other school districts return to the classroom. Boston Mayor Michelle Wu says BPS has secured 5,000 Charlie cards with seven free day passes for families to practice their new routes before the start of school on September 8th. BPS, by the way, will also be having support staff out there to help guide the kids on their new journey as they try to get to school. And again, reminder, this Orange Line shutdown goes until September 19th as of now. Reporting live in Malden, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5. There we go.